This is a compelling portrait of a man whose work was never completed, but whose message is timeless. The autobiography of Malcolm X, written by Alex Haley and Malcolm X, is a powerful and influential account of Malcolm X's life. The book covers Malcolm Little's early years, his transformation into Malcolm X, and his eventual assassination in 1965. Here are the key events and themes explored in the autobiography, Childhood and Youth. Malcolm Little was born in Omaha, Nebraska in 1925. His family faced intense racism, and his father was killed by a white supremacist group when Malcolm was young. After his mother's mental breakdown, Malcolm and his siblings were separated and placed in foster homes, criminal activity, and imprisonment. Malcolm moved to Boston, where he became involved in criminal activities. He was eventually arrested and sentenced to prison for burglary. During his time in prison, he educated himself, particularly in the teachings of the Nation of Islam, and underwent a transformation, which included adopting the name Malcolm X to symbolize his lost African heritage. Nation of Islam after his release from prison, Malcolm X became a prominent figure in the Nation of Islam, a black separatist movement led by Elijah Muhammad. Malcolm X eventually left the organization due to personal conflicts and revelations about Muhammad's immoral behavior. He then converted to mainstream Sunni Islam, embarking on a pilgrimage to Mecca, where he underwent a profound spiritual transformation civil rights movement and assassination. After returning from Mecca, Malcolm X became more moderate in his views, advocating for unity among all races and religions. His evolving beliefs and growing influence made him a target. He was assassinated on February 21, 1965, while speaking at the Audubon Ballroom in New York City. Three members of the Nation of Islam were convicted of his murder. The autobiography provides deep insights into Malcolm X's personal growth, ideological transformation, and the complex social and political landscape of the time. It remains a significant work in the study of civil rights, racial identity, and African-American history.